What up, YouTube? It's your boy. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. I, I watch a YouTube channel where these guys repair videos and they always come out so horrid. They're coming out so big and full of so much energy and uh, for kids. I'm way too tired for that nonsense. So we're gonna start today's video with a fun little educational this is what happens in your engine talk. This thing is called a fuel regulator and it does just what it sounds like it does. It regulates fuel. It tells your fuel pumps, which are generally in your fuel tanks, well, at least, at least in this truck there, how much fuel to send to the engine. And I have a sneaking suspicion mine aren't working. So I'm going to tear this apart, I'm going to put a new one on, and maybe, maybe this truck is going to work. All right, for posterity's sake, this on my 90, what is it, 94 Ford F350 uh, with a 460 V8, 460 cubic inch V8, has a vacuum actuated fuel pressure regulator, and I'm not 100% sure that I can really diagnose it without cutting it open, but this could be perfectly good, so if I cut it open, um, and that's not the problem, I, I wanna keep this. Basically, that little gold thing in there is what I just replaced. It sits on this thing called the fuel rail on the other side, but it regulates the fuel for all, for all eight cylinders. These are the fuel injectors, these things that are plugged in right here. And if that thing's not working, then there won't be fuel getting to the engine. So, so far, the top end of the engine, I've not seen any sugar. So I'm gonna try to fire it up right now and see if I can't Bring it to life, hopefully. Hopefully I don't have to drop the tanks. It's really what I'm trying to avoid right now. If this doesn't work, then we get to drop some fuel tanks and see if sugar really did mess with fuel pumps. The fuel pumps in this truck are sitting in the fuel tanks. So while sugar doesn't ruin engines the way people think it does, sugar or sand or dirt or any other thing that's a solid in a fuel tank will absolutely wreck a fuel pump. So that's still a possibility. So while sugar may have ruined a thing, it's not the way people would think it had ruined a thing. Sand would have done the same thing. Let's go find keys and I'll, I'll see if this thing doesn't fire over. All right, got some keys. Just to prove none of this nonsense is staged. It's still cold, still left out there. We're ready to go. I'm trying to make this as a, I mean, if it starts, then this is it. Maybe, maybe job done. Maybe that's all there is. If it starts and it runs for like 10 minutes and then it dies, we still could have a fuel pump issue. If it starts and it runs for like 10 seconds, like it has been, then what I just did did nothing. So let's find out. Maybe. We'll fire it right up. Still have a very whiny steering pump. It's that kind of whining, whirring noise you can hear. But we're coming up on the, the 10 second mark when this bad boy would stop working. I hear it stumbling. Watch the RPMs with me. It'll sit there right at 1,000 RPM, but then it'll just die. So far, it's still running. Do I dare believe? Do I dare believe that it's fixed? See, here's the scary part. Maybe it's not fixed. Maybe it still has an issue and in 10 minutes it's gonna die. But if I dare go and drive it, and that 10 minute window ends, and it's not exactly 10 minutes, so it's not like I could time it. Then I'm just stranded. It has to just sit there for like an hour before it sorts itself out. I don't know. 
I'm gonna give it some some gas. I'm gonna rev it a little bit. Sometimes that really brings to light the fact that the regulator's not working. Last time I did that, it just, it died. It didn't like it. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I don't have much fuel in the tanks. I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it run for the actual 10 minutes. Just let it sit out here and idle. I'll, I'll be right back. See you in 10 minutes. Friends, I gotta fix a window, it's broken. Not this one, but this one. Uh, there's no window right there. I have to pull the door apart. It rains here too much to let a window be down all the time. So while it's running, I'm gonna fix something else. On this truck, I've never seen anything like this. This is the insulation on the inside of the door. It says July 5th, 1994. This has been untouched. No one has pulled this off since me, or since me, before me, today, 2020. It's been entombed for 26 years. This is 26 year old dust, and I feel really bad. I don't even want to break this, but this is the inside of the door panel. It's inside of the or this is inside of the door, that's inside of the door panel. I need to rip into this plastic to get, sadly, the window up. I wonder if there's a way to do it without me ruining it. <sighs> I ran for 10 minutes. I'm gonna fire it up again. Here goes nothing. for 10 minutes without an issue. I'm really sketched out. I, I don't know if I want to take it for a drive yet. I only drove it for a couple minutes last time, but I, I think I need to full on drive it around to prove that it's gonna make it to Portlandia. I gotta deal with that. See that thing right there? Oh, it just stumbled a little bit. What's that? There's that light color thing right there. It's a power steering. And it is really whining. But I'm hearing it stumble. Something could still be happening. See if the RPMs are dipping noticeably on the tack. Or is it just a hiccup and it's fine? Holding pretty steady at 750 RPM, which is, I think, exactly where it's supposed to be. Uh, it's an adventure, I guess. I have to keep reminding myself not to get all upset. See, it keeps stumbling, but then it's catching itself it, before it would die. I don't know. I'm going to test it. If I take it for a test drive, I'll bring you guys with. All right, y'all. It's about to get real. We're going to start it and take it for a test drive. As promised. Hopefully it just fires up. Well, that's a good start. All right. I got an extra battery for my phone. Especially since I'm going to video this nonsense. We're gonna go get some fuel. Uh oh, it's already doing a thing. Oh, that's stressful. <laughs> it just did a thing. It just stumbled a little bit. What are you doing to me, truck? I think we're gonna do it. 
trigger is nothing. We're moving. Such a beast. All right, we're off. I think I have AAA. I think. Do I have it with me? I don't think I have it with me. I'm gonna go get my AAA card. Hold on. Hey, I got my AAA card. That might be helpful. I'm losing a bunch of power steering fluid. I might lose that while I'm out. I need a new power steering pump. But right now, I just want the stupid engine to run, so I'm gonna drive it to the gas station. And then drive it up and down the highway a little bit. And if something really bad happens, that's why I bought AAA. So we'll see. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. Here's a time lapse. I'm at the gas station. I'm filled up enough to do a test drive. Here goes nothing. think it's fixed. I know I maybe said that already, which is why I have a little bit of hesitation saying it, but it's running. It's got a little bit of a rough idle, which is probably why that check engine light is on. You can read that. Let's see if I can focus on it. No, it's not gonna let me do it. But, unknowingly, this truck is old enough to have my fancy pants computer won't plug into it to do some crazy Morse code nonsense. I was not joking. You go, you go on Google and it tells you, again, a little uh, mistrust with Google right now. You have to use a paper clip to jump from one wire thing to another wire. And then you run in here and you check and it blinks to you in a straight up Morse code sort of a way. And then you count the blinks and that tells you your check engine code. So that's a trip. But we'll figure out what that is. and. Uh, Maybe replace the whiny power steering, and maybe, maybe this thing's gonna make it back to Portland. I don't know, I, I suddenly have a little bit of hope. So I guess we'll see. Got a couple more things to button up on this, and maybe I'll drive it down there. 